this is Sherry. I'm coming at you from my patio because it's too chilly to go out on the lake. Um, we've got kind of weird beachy weather. It's odd. It's uh, The sun keeps trying to come out, but there's something that keeps kind of forcing it to stay undercover. Um, and you can feel like the dampness in the air. It feels like you're at the beach, but we're not. So uh, I'm going to I'll, I'll, well, I'll turn the camera around so you can see the, the, the totem that we had coming today, and it'll probably come up when we're, we're out here, is the hummingbird. Because the hummingbird is uh, speaking about what is accomplishing, comp being able to accomplish what might seem impossible to yourself or to others. Um, they're aerodynamically incorrectly built according to mankind um, because their bodies are big and they've got these little tiny wings. But not only are they able to fly, they're able to fly huge distances, great distances with great resiliency. So they're very, very strong, fast little things. They're fast, they're, they're light, they're beautiful, um, they bring joy. They talk about grabbing the joy in life. Um, they're able to move quickly from one, one direction to another. They can, they're can they the only bird that can uh, fly standing still and go backwards like a helicopter. Um, they speak about, uh, so, so you want, if you want to, if you're having issues in your life where you're feeling sad or, or negative and you have negative energy, so you call upon the hummingbird totem to lighten your energy and bring out your optimism. Um, <clears throat> talks about um, you're, it's possible that you may have to change quickly direction that you're going. Um, it talks about you may have to back up a little bit, um, stop, back up, move forward. So it talks about maybe thinking about uh, an alter alternative plan. Maybe you were heading in one direction and now you're going to have to go in a different direction. Um, um, the hummingbird is... Uh, it, it asks you, what were your dreams? You know, you used to be you used to be a dreamer. You had big dreams, and what happened to them? Are you following your dreams, or have you you know put them on a shelf, and have you put them on the back burner, or have you allowed others to kind of dampen your 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 enthusiasm for what you wanted to do in your life? So it talks about you know going back to that, taking charge of your life, and 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 going after your dreams and dream big. So those are our messages from Hummingbird. I have done this video twice, and it keeps cutting out. So let's keep. I'm praying that this doesn't happen again. So this time we're going to be working with my Sedona deck. It's the Archangel Power deck. I'm um, not in Sedona. I usually am at this time and I'm not there. So uh, we're going to use the deck. Haven't used it for a while. And the first card that we have, I think I'll, I'll turn you this way so you can see it, is the Knight of Michael. And I hope this is light you can see. This is, you see a woman on a horse. Uh, the horse represents forward movement. Um, it also represents being carried where you need to go. So spirit's going to carry you where you need to go. Interesting weather we have. Sun's still trying to come out, and yet there's some kind of energy that's holding it back. Um, just like what we're having here. She's going quickly, um, like the hummingbird, right? She's going quick. Her, her cloak is flying out behind her. She reminds me of the um, three musketeers plus one. <laughs> um, the horse is rearing. It's ready to go. Come on, let's do it. Let's just do it. White. Um, Purity um, makes me think of a unicorn, victory. Ooh, there's a dove above. I never saw that before. White dove, harmony, um, love, um, finding what you've lost, um, peace. It also talks about, you know, um, calm, calming down, something calming down. But now that's interesting because it's a horse that's going quickly. Sorry, I thought this thing ended. So basically the message she's saying is time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. Now, we always want to use our hearts, but at this time, you need to use your head um, instead of being emotional about a situation. Um, it might be time to move quickly um, with great decisiveness, and you need to be confident when you, make, when you do this. you got to develop a plan of action. You know, how am I going to do this? Where are we going to go? How are we going to um, figure this out? And it's time to move forward now. Um, a lot of activity happening all, all of a sudden at one time. And it's encouraging you that, like I said, while, while you're told to follow your heart, always use your mind, your intellectual um, aspect of your mind. And while you're being encouraged to act quickly, um, they don't want you to be impulsive. So you need to have a, a detailed plan of action. If you're speaking about a person as the Knight of Michael, um, this is somebody who's able to accomplish many things at one time, somebody that's got a brilliant mind, somebody who is able to figure things out, right? Because you've got this plan of action you've got to implement, um, the capacity to solve any of, the, any of these problems. So this is a very uh, intelligent person, a strong person, um, focused, committed, an educated person. Um, so that's the first message that we have there. I'm going to kind of go quick because we've got a lot. The next message that we have, Let's look around and see. Oh, there's a hummingbird right up there. Let's see if anybody comes flying in here when we are in here. Um, it was interesting this morning. The hummingbirds 
came and, and I've had this little one coming and tapping on the, um, the wind chimes. And I like that because the wind chimes, they're my angel is on top of the wind chimes and they represent to me, um, when they speak, it's like the angels are speaking. I always think that when the chimes go, the angels are telling you something. Um, and so with the hummingbird chiming, like coming up and, and hitting the chimes, it, it made me feel like um, it's with, with the help of spirit, you're going to be able to accomplish what might seem impossible to others because that's what the hummingbird message is. And then this morning I was sitting at my desk right here. This is my window and I sit and I work at my desk and a hummingbird came and tapped on the window.